when I visit an archaeological site in Israel, the artifact I see most often is a little piece of broken pottery. So I'm, I'm seeing a vessel at the end of its life. I'm so thankful to be here with Tal in Israel, seeing the beginning of the process. This potter really has made some very beautiful, beautiful things. In Bible times, pottery was very much a part of every household. The raw materials, the clay was everywhere. The uh, clay could be turned as tall as here into a vessel of varying kinds, everything from a plate to a serving bowl to a, an oil lamp. And once that vessel is placed in the kiln and fired, it's work hardened to the point that it has a fairly long service life. What I find so interesting and what I see here is the very intimate relationship that exists between the potter and the vessel. And there's something to learn there as a, as a Bible reader, because the Lord on more than one occasion speaks of himself as a potter fashioning us. The Lord is the potter who made you. He has this vital and personal relationship with you, and he's creating you to be uniquely someone who does the job in the kingdom that only you can do.